What's up, everybody? I got a confession to make. I did it. I did it, and I'm fucking proud. Okay? I did it. They're all dead. I killed them all. I'm a fucking murderer. They're all dead. All of them. Slaughtered every one of them. They're all fucking dead. Carnage. Death. Destruction. I have no remorse. Yeah, I did it. I killed them all. They're all dead. <laughs> What's up, everybody? 18 Wheels to Hell. Thanks for checking in. Thank you for sitting through my horrible attempt at humor. Uh, today, I'm going to make a bit of an educational video for all of you. Uh, for those of you who might be getting into trucking, for those of you who maybe need a little advice on this logging app that I'm about to show you. Uh, excuse me, I got heartburn. Yeah, we're going to run through Geotab real quick. All right. Alright, so here we go. Once again, we are at the uh, same loves that I was at in uh, one of last week's videos on my trip from Wilmington down to Texas. The loves in Fort Worth. We are here again. But uh, we're not here to talk about that. As I stated, we're here to talk about Geotab. This is Geotab right here. Okay, what Geotab is, is it's an electronic logging app that is synced to your truck. Somewhere in here, my boss has put a device um, that monitors my every move. And it coincides with the app, and the app coincides with main dispatch, or whatever you wanna call it. Your boss could see everything. He can see how many hours you have left. He can send you messages, um, vehicle diagnostics, everything. So we're gonna run through the tabs here real quick. The tabs that I use at least, I don't use all of these. Okay, so let's say you're starting out your day. You're gonna wanna go to DVIR and you're gonna, gonna wanna do a uh, inspection. This is my truck and that's my trailer. Now, until you attach a trailer, you're only gonna see your truck. And as soon as you start to do an inspection on your truck, it's going to place you on duty. Now, to attach a trailer, you go over to Assets. You, well, I'm not gonna click it because I don't want it to fuck my logbook up, but uh, you're gonna either go to New or Attach. And once you attach your trailer, it'll show up right here, and to remove your trailer, you simply press this little button that looks like a uh, Do Not Enter sign. All right, and then you go back over to DVIR, which uh, I believe is driver inspection report, and you can pre-trip or post-trip your trailer. Now, I'm not gonna go into any of these because I already did my post-trip. I'm logged out for the day, and I don't want it to throw me back on duty. Then, you can go over to HOS, hours of service, and it'll tell you how much time you've got left, how much time you've got, uh, how much time you've been taking your break, I've been off duty for six minutes. How much time before you need to take your break? How much driving time you've got left? How much of your workday you've got left? And how much in whatever rule set your uh, hours fall in? However much time you've got left. Let's see. These are, so basically your recap hours, okay? Here, you can look at it just like as if it were a manual paper log that you could fill out. It'll show you your bars here. Um, and you can go back through your days. 
and uh, it'll tell you your starting odometer and your ending odometer. Here, and that actually I need to do this before I log out, um, here's where you can get a more in-depth description of your logs, where you were, um, how much time you were doing it, how many miles you've driven. Uh, I started off in Joplin, Missouri this morning, and I'm here in Fort Worth. Yesterday, I don't know if I can see yesterday, yesterday I ran over 600 miles, yep, right there, 604 miles. That was yesterday. And when your logs are verified, you'll have a green check mark next to them. I have not verified my logs yet, so therefore I do not have a green check mark next to them. Uh, that's something that I'm going to do before I log out. And here in options, let's say you need to move across the yard or something, or you get caught in a blizzard, or I don't know, like North Korea dropped all their nukes on us. Or you're, you know, you're driving to, well, we're in Texas, so I'll use Whataburger. Let's say you're driving over to Whataburger or driving home after you've dropped off at the yard or whatever. Um, crap, I was trying to hide my name. That's why that piece of paper's there. Well, I guess you all know my name now. God damn it. Um, <laughs> um, let me see if I can't crop that out. If I do crop that out, pay no mind to what I just said. But yeah, you can uh, click on any of those. If you do yard move, it will set you on duty. I have not yet used personal use or adverse driving conditions. But it'll put you on duty. Then you gotta do a annotation, you know, add in what you're doing, like drive to dock or, or uh, drive to empty trailer, something like that. So that's basically it. Um, Here's your dashboard. Uh, if you're, you know, a local guy, you can do the short haul exception. Um, I don't mess with fuel tracker or ELD supports. I have not gone into this yet. Let's see what this does. Oh, just simple stuff for the app. App information, reporting a bug, change your password, check for updates, all that bullshit. So that's pretty much it. Um, pretty self-explanatory. If you used e-logs before, this is not a hard app to figure out. The only thing I recommend doing is at the end of your day, log out of it. Because there's been reports of guys who have gone home for their 34 or left it logged in overnight for their 10 and they wake up and for some reason they're on duty and their break is obviously canceled. Um, and you cannot change that, I don't believe. I've not yet figured out how to edit logs in this, and I don't think that you can. I know you can't edit drive time, that I know. So make sure you log out. And you do that, there's a button up here where my name is, and uh, you can log out. And I'm gonna do that right now, because I'm off duty. And here it's gonna ask you to verify your logs. Verify, agree. Agree. Damn it. Thank you. And it's gonna log you out. It's gonna synchronize some things and boom. That's it. Your day is over. So yeah, that's uh that's geotab in a nutshell for you. Get rid of this. Um yeah, I'm getting a phone call from a number that I don't know. They can fuck off. You guys have a good one. I hope this helped you out if you needed any help with it. Uh, I didn't go too in-depth. There's not really in-depth that you can go with it. Um, but yeah, that's it. Have a good one. See you on the road.